Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine and doing your work very well. Welcome back to EDS class. My dear children, in today's class we are going to start new lesson of EDS second that is natural resources, forest and soil. Can you tell me students what is meant by natural resources? Do you know what are the natural resources? Which are the examples of natural resources? Yes, very good. Natural resources are nothing but the things which we get from nature. Can you tell me the things which we get from nature? Yes, there are different things we get from nature such as oxygen, wood, fruits, flowers, then different plants, oils, air, sunlight, rain. These are the natural resources and these all things we get from our nature right so here what are the natural resources natural resource is um, anything that comes from nature what is a natural resource a natural resource is anything that comes from nature example air water wood oil wind energy iron coal etc these are the different natural resources right my dear children okay so open your notebook and write down the name of lesson in your EDS notebook and the meaning of natural resource okay you can write your own examples now let us see one important natural resource that is forest so here in today's class we are going to learn about forest as natural resources okay so here we have forest as natural resources do you know children there are different things which we get from forest can you tell me what are the things which we get from forest yes wood spices gum then different medicines honey then sealing gum yes different fruits flowers plants and vegetables medicinal plants these are the different things which we get from forest we use these things to make different things which we use in our day to day life right these forests are also important important as they are home for different animals okay forest provides shelter to different living things or different living animals okay so the things which we get from forest are oxygen wood fruits flowers spices and different herbs okay so oxygen the air is constantly made fresh by the forest then what do we use for wood for yes as building material and furniture then we also use wood to make paper cricket bats and other articles okay then fruits flowers these are used as spices medicine shampoo soaps and so on okay then many people and other living beings such as animals live and around forest they live in the forest or live around the forest okay so let us see what is a forest a forest is an area covered with many trees plants growing close to each other you can see this in this picture there are different trees and different plants and how they are yes these trees and plants growing close to each other you can see here in this picture okay then most forests grow naturally do you know that do anyone plant different trees here no these forests they grow naturally on their own they are home for a wide variety of animals and birds this forest provide home okay this forest are home 
for a wide variety of animals and birds right children there are different forest we have to see not all the forest are the same there are many different kinds of forest they have various types of trees and plants there are five main types of forest found in india do you know which are the different forest types yes let us see one by one the first one is coniferous forest then second one is evergreen forest third one is deciduous forest then fourth one is thorny and scrub scrub forest and the fifth one is tidal forest okay which are the main five types coniferous forest evergreen forest deciduous forest thorny and scrub forest and tidal forest okay let us discuss about each of them so first one is coniferous forest here we have this coniferous forest we find this coniferous forest are found in regions such as the himalaya and nilgiri mountains okay this region is quite cold it also snows on himalayas you know that you can see this in the picture here this coniferous forest we found in himalayas and nilgiri mountain region okay here we can see snows in this region okay and these trees are pointed and narrow at the top and wider at the bottom here you can see this these trees these are the pointed at the top these are also narrow at the top and they are wide at the bottom okay why is this so to prevent snow from remaining on their branches this structure of this plant is like this because to prevent snow from remaining on their branches then this you can see leaves of these plants are like needles so they do not collect snow on it here you can see how are the leaves the leaves are pointed like needle like a christmas tree okay the leaves are pointed like needle why because they do not collect snow okay yes if there is any flat shape leaves are there then what will happen they collect snow on it if branches like mango tree or papaya tree chiku tree then what will happen they also they will also collect snow on its branches because of that these plants are having narrow and pointed top and because they do not collect snow over here okay so which type of forest is this which we found in himalaya and nilgiri mountain region these are the coniferous forest okay the next one is evergreen forest we can say that this evergreen forest means from its name do you get any idea yes evergreen forest are the green forests they remain green whole the year okay yes this forest found in hot and wet regions of india there is plenty of rain and sunshine on the western ghats the hills of north east india and on the andaman and nicobar islands where do we found this evergreen forest yes where we have the hot and wet region of india where do we have this yes there is plenty of rain and sunshine in the western ghats and so the hills of north east india and the andaman and nicobar island are having evergreen forest hence the forest that found here are evergreen forest this type of trees which grow in the evergreen forest region such as eucalyptus and rosewood 
these type of plants or this type of trees grows in this region and they never shed their leaves completely and always look green okay because of that we call it as evergreen forest right why do we call it as evergreen forest because they never shed their leaves completely and always look green as we all know that some plants they shed their leaves in some particular season but in this region of evergreen forest this forest remain green they look always green because they do not shed their leaves completely okay where do we found it in the hot and wet regions of india such as western ghats north east india then andaman and nicobar island okay here you can see the picture of evergreen forest it looks very green very beautiful the trees they do not shed their leaves completely because of that they look green where do we found it we found it in the hot and wet region of india okay such as western ghats then north east hills and where yes very good we found it also in andaman and nicobar island okay so let us move toward the next type of forest which is deciduous forest these are the deciduous forest grow in the peninsular plateau region okay which region in the peninsular plateau region they are also found along the foothills of himalayas the below hills of himalaya himalaya mountains there are foothills means downside hills there we found this type of forest okay the trees in this forest such as gulmohar and teak can live and grow in the different kinds of weather this type of here you can see this in the picture yes snow is also there because the foothills of himalaya they are having snowy areas here you can see this there are different climatic condition or different weather and these type of trees they can grow in any weather okay so which trees are that gulmohar and teak these trees have broad and flat leaves which type of leaves they are having which type of leaves these trees are having gulmohar and teak they are having flat and broad leaves so because of it they require lots of water okay and hence they lose their leaves during the dry season during dry season they do not have any leaves on it these trees do not have any leaves on it they shed all their leaves okay so here the deciduous forest we found in plateau region of india then they are also found in foot hills of himalayas which are the famous trees yes gulmohar and teak are the famous leaves famous trees and what are what is the special thing about this they require lots of water they are having flat and broad leaves because of that they require lot of lots of water and they lose their leaves during the dry season okay do you understood up to this okay are you writing okay you can also write it after i finish okay and so let us move toward the next type of forest which is thorny and scrub forest look at this picture from this you can say that this thorny and scrub forest we found in desert region okay where do we found this yes we found it in the desert region of rajasthan gujarat and some part of uttar pradesh madhya pradesh and maharashtra also this type of thorny and scrub forest where do we found it we found it in dry areas such as the desert of rajasthan gujarat part of and some parts of uttar pradesh madhya pradesh and maharashtra also 
why these forests are like this yes the rays of the sun are very strong in this region why because the rays rays of the sun are very hot very strong in this region there is very little rainfall so the trees and plants needed to live with less water here the plants which grows they need very less amount of water do you know such types of plants yes such as cactus and many thorny plants such as babul and kikar okay which are the examples of this plant babul and kikar okay <coughs> these are the thorny plants their leaves become thorns to make sure that they do not lose water okay their leaves how they they become thorns then the roots are along the roots are long because they have to penetrate deep into the soil in search of water the roots of these plants they go very deep into the ground why because they have to get water they have to search water in the soil because of that they grows very long okay and they goes very deep into the ground in search of water what is the fourth type of forest thorny and scrub forest where do we found these types of forest we found it in the desert region such as rajasthan gujarat in some parts of uttar pradesh madhya pradesh and maharashtra also okay which are the famous trees grows here babul and kikar okay then what is the important thing about plants or about trees which are grown in here yes the leaves of this type of plants or trees they become thorn because they don't want to lose water here sun is very hot and their roots are long because they have to penetrate deep into the soil in search of water okay then let us move toward the next type of forest as tidal forest okay so here we have these forest are found where the land is flooded by sea water what is meant by tidal forest tidal forest means this forest are found where the land is flooded by the sea water here where sea water comes on the land in that region we found this tidal forest example mangroves such as the sundari trees in the river deltas of west bengal where do we found this type of forest in the region of west bengal okay and the roots of these trees grow upwards to come out of water see here you can see this the roots are growing upward why to come out from water okay they do not they do this to get enough air why do they grow out why they come out to get air to get enough air from the atmosphere these roots come out okay so here we have completed five main types of forest such as yes coniferous forest evergreen forest deciduous forest then thorny and scrub forest and last one is tidal forest right you have to write all these important points in your notebook now do you know my dear children what affects the vegetation of a place why we have different types of forest in different region yes because factors such as temperature and rainfall in a place affect the kind of forest that is found there okay if there is a different type of temperature and different types of rainfall we get different yes in different amounts of temperature and rainfall in different places right because of that we have different types of vegetation or different types of forest in a 
place okay so here sea install mountains in india are extremely cold and having coniferous forest okay the tall mountains such as himalaya and nilgiri they are having coniferous flower sorry coniferous forest why because there is snowy region and it is extremely cold then hot climate and heavy rainfall lead to evergreen forest if there is hot climate and heavy rainfall then it led to grow evergreen forest right and then scanty rainfall and high temperature make thorny and scrub forest grow in desert okay so these are the region behind different vegetation of a place okay now you have to complete two questions that are what type of trees are found in deciduous forest and what is special about tidal trees these points you have to write these are the two questions given in the textbook page number 25 write down the answers okay okay we'll see next point in the next session if you have any doubt then ask me right thank you